Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Are you ready to take down this game's namesake, the Peace Walker itself? I think it's about time we did that. So let's do it. Peace Walker battle. Peace Walker's active, and its self-defense system is targeting you, Snake. You better find a way to stop it quick. Let's fuck this bitch up. Also, we should probably talk to Huey. I bet you he has some insight. Amanda, anything? Be careful, Snake. I have no advice on dealing with El Basilisco's attacks, but you may be able to use its size against it. Its movements will probably be just as big, meaning it should give some kind of warning before most of its attacks. That's true. It might be good to start out by studying its movements, watching what it does before each attack. That should help you avoid most of them. And weapons that walk always have one guaranteed weakness. The legs. Right. Take out the legs! Destroy its legs and you'll stop it from moving. You might even be able to knock it on its back if you're lucky. Just make sure you are out of the way first. Sweep the leg, Johnny! Sweep the leg! The two AI pods. What you got, bro? Peace Walker contains an assembly of two AI pods. One of them is the mammal pod, which Dr. Strangelove developed. The other's the reptile pod, which is mine. What's the difference? The reptile pod is the attitude control AI. If it's destroyed, Peace Walker grinds to a halt. The mammal pod is responsible for making the decisions regarding nuclear retaliation, reflex, and thought. One is the brainstem and cerebellum, the other the cerebrum. So, the one that houses the will of the boss... ...would be the mammal pod. Okay. Which one should we take out? Both? We call it the reptile pod for a reason. The parts of our brains that govern basic life and reflex developed ages ago, when our ancestors were still reptiles. We were reptiles? Well, only at one stage of our evolution. The theory was proposed by the neuroscientist Paul McLean. Huh. The reptile brain corresponds to the brainstem and basal ganglia in our brain. The reptile pod also incorporates the functions of the cerebellum. So basically, it's the deep parts of the brain. Dr. Strangelove came up with the name. Okay. Good for her. What about her mammal pod? Oops, that's the wrong button. The part of our brain that developed after we became mammals is responsible for high-level brain functions. Such as? Such as intelligence, judgment, even love. That's high-level, all right. Location-wise, the mammal brain is on the outside of the reptile brain. The cerebral cortex is part of it. I think it's very telling that Dr. Strangelove named her pod Mammal. It's almost like she wants it to be more than just an advanced AI. What she really wants is for it to have a mind of its own. Yeah, she basically said it was supposed to be the second coming of the boss, or the boss living on, or whatever. Anyways, okay, he didn't really give us any clues on how to take the damn thing down. Amanda gave us more ideas than that one, because Amanda's like, make sure you watch its movements, can kick its ass. Alright then, machine gun. We're bringing the machine gun. Probably gonna go with the M60. Yeah. TKM sounds fun, but actually wait. Well we are gonna we're gonna bring in a rocket launcher too. Um Oh the question is which one? I'd rather move faster than slower, so we're probably gonna go RPG. Yeah, RPG. RPG is my old faithful. Um M60 PKM has the same amount of bullets. They're pretty, they're pretty much the same, just PKM weighs more. Alright, I'm going to stick with the M60, screw it. Uh, supply marker, yes. Stun grenade, probably not. So let's go with the chaff grenade. It is a mechanical machine. Maybe we'll actually utilize a, a chaff grenade for once. Who knows? Don't, probably won't need the Fulton system, but we'll bring it anyways. And I think that's it, because we still don't have the battle suit for bosses. I'm pretty sure we're stuck with the sneaky suit still. So let's do this, guys. I'm ready. Get ready for a full episode of Boss Fight, because that's what happens every single fucking time. I swear. Every one of these storyline boss fights takes me an episode, so let's see how this one goes. Oh, hello, Peace Walker. Fancy seeing you here. Time to fuck him up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, here we go. 
What do we do? I don't even know where to begin. All right, let's just start by blowing bitches up. Can't hurt. Oh. I don't know. I just picked the spot and shot at it. I don't know what the best play. Take the legs out, maybe? You might be better served going for those legs. Cluster bombs? No, that's not good. Fuck. Cluster bombs hurt. Have to say about your cluster bombs? Oh, what the hell? Why didn't you reload already? Fuck your oh, well, at least I hit him. Flamethrower, oh god, oh god, oh god, flamethrower hurts, flamethrower's hurt. Just keep going for that, I'm gonna go for the kneecaps. That generally where the leg bends is the most vulnerable spot. I know how knees work, I have some of them. Face you, face me, bitch. This thing moves a lot slower than I expected. Alright, just keep kneecapping this bitch. We could aim for the AI, the AI pod. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Is that the cluster bomb again? That shit hurts. I'm already out of freaking RPGs, man. I'm trying to decap this bitch, it's not working out too well. Alright, let's get the other fucking gun out. Start trying to bust that kneecap out. I'm just gonna go for the same one until something happens. No need to aim for a different one. Ah, uh, missiles! Missiles! Why am I ducked? Run, fool. Um, it seems like the back of the kneecap is a lot more vulnerable. Like, well, maybe just from too far away. I think the closer you are, the more damage you do. That's something I've already kind of learned. I'm gonna keep moving until he decides what he's gonna do next. Right, there we go. Yeah, we're all up on that kneecap. S mines. Oh, that's bad. I don't like S mines. Not at all. Ow. Well then, that hurt. <laughs> wow, that hella stunned snake hella hard. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what's going to be the best course of action here. Wait, shoot it down. Be oh, oh, I see. You can shoot it down. Okay, I saw that. Don't worry. I saw it. I didn't realize that was a thing. All right, well, if I fail this first attempt, which is very likely, most bosses, it, it, that's what happens. Failure. Oh, I see. Okay, that's actually helpful. Um, what, I, what I'll do in the second attempt is I'll go straight for the AI pod. No, I got him. I got him. What do we, wait, what do you mean, now, 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 what? Go for the, the iPod? I don't know what now, now means. Could I, like, I mean, I know I knocked it down, but what does that even, so what? I knocked it down, yay for me. Especially for, since it was only down for such a short amount of time. I wasn't even that cool. Yeah, we need it now. Kind of short on stuff, bro. There we go. Pick it up, pick it up. Ah! I hate that you can't just pick it up immediately, you have to wait till it lands. It's such an annoying little detail that they did. Anyway, get the RPG back out. I'm going for the iPod, fuck it. I've wasted enough effort shooting out the legs. What was the point? Shit, I don't have my ammo. Reloaded, no! Oh, somehow that missed me. Let me reload all my ammo first. Alright, let's get around in the back again and do our thing. Fuck you. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, oh got it. Oh. Ah, I missed the pod, but I hit I hit him. I just missed the pod. Switch fucking uh trying to switch weapons faster, but in the middle of a reload is not good. Oh, ah. Ah. He's moving around when I shoot. There we go. Just fucking do that. There we go. Ow! Run. I'm actually surprised I haven't died yet. Like, or I mean, I shouldn't say died. I haven't used up a, uh, a ration yet. Booyah! Right in the fucking pod, bitch. I am out of ammo. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Screw it then. Just fucking unload. Unload. All damage is good damage. We already got him almost halfway. I feel like we're better off right under him. Position ourselves better. Ah, until he gets the flamethrower. No, not the flamethrower. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, okay. Here I was talking about being close. He just proved why I shouldn't get too close. Alright, come on. You always get more supplies. You always get more supplies. Just keep rocking like a hurricane. Yeah, dude, we're doing lots of damage hitting it right in the iPod, so let's keep doing that. 
fuck you. Oh, the flamethrower is firing. I'm not even paying attention. Look at all that shit. Oh, God, so much damage. What's now? Oh, does it fall? What, what's happening? Is it, is it mad? Is it mad? Are you mad, bro? Uh, please don't. I'm sorry. Damn it. Okay, guys. Let me just unload the rest of this clip as best I can. Lake motor? What does that even mean? Whoa, crazy move. Whoa, how did I end up here? <laughs> I like how I ended up up the fucking ledge and I didn't even mean to. That's pretty funny, actually. Wait, what the? Who can call for the shit before it falls? We got this guy. He's mine. It's mine. You will be mine, bitch! Oh, fuck, I fell. Damn it. Uh. Uh. Uh, uh, okay, we're okay. Everything's okay, guys. Everything's fine. Everything's delicious. Got this. Peace Walker, you will fall before me. So what? Launch him. Boom, sucker. That's a big damage. I like it. Oh, he moved. Fuck you. Oh, so fucking asshole. He moved. Engage your flamethrower. I'm busy trying to fuck your ass up, son. I'm gonna get him. We're, we almost got him. He's almost done. In fact, I'm gonna save. Shit! Oh, shit. He's doing that back. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's like the most dangerous movie he's done this whole time. Fucking backpedaling with the flamethrower. Not cool. Anyway, I'm gonna take this guy out with a machine gun, and then we'll fuck him up with the... We'll open up the iPod with the RPG. Fuck. Stop the flamethrower, bro. Get out. On. We almost got it. Almost mine. Victory, I can smell it. Whoa, trying to go for the stomp, are you? Trying to stamp me out like a cigarette? I see how it is. I see the connection there. I'll show you some peace, Walker. Bitch. Come on. Is it weird that this is an easy boss fight, or is it just the fact that I'm good at maneuvering around a lot better than I was before? I don't know what it is. It's probably just me being awesome. That's usually what it is, right? <laughs> Not really. Oh, stop with your S mine bullshit. Come on. Die, you iPod bitch. Got him. Got him. Yes. Super awesome. Yes! Yes, yes, watch it blow up. Wait, I won already? I don't even have to go- what? We didn't have to go inside of the iPod? Okay, fine. I guess that's all she wrote. Suck on that, Peace Walker. You supposedly invulnerable piece of shit. First try, are you kidding me? That can't be all. I mean, I'm not saying that's like the end or anything. We still got plenty of gameplay to go, I'm sure. But like, that's it for the Peace Walker? What's the rest of the game gonna be? Dealing with all the people who are responsible? Uh, something bad is happening. What is happening? What are we what are we doing here, Snake? Face to face with the peace. Walk out. Shaking off all the damage we did, like oh that, that that hurt a little bit, but I'm good. What? Okay. 
It changed forms and now we're fighting it again. This is gonna be fun. I see. It went from bipedal to, to quadrupedal. Four-legged. I was like confused by what was happening there. Um, I think it's gonna get away from us though. You're not exactly gonna, there we go. I was gonna say, you're not gonna be able to catch this shit on foot, bro. Oh snap. Maybe in a cutscene on a horse though. Walkers, you couldn't tell what to do. Oh shit! I'm supposed to press buttons. Triangle yeah. that shit. Yeah. Going faster than that, motherfucker. Hell yeah, bitch. Oh shit! Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Keep pressing that triangle button. Keep fucking triangle on that shit. Keep fucking triangle on that shit. You ain't gonna get me with your missiles. Bang boom clang, bitch. Bang boom clang. Yeah. We gon' catch. We gon' catch. We gon' catch. I'm guessing we just have to keep mashing that shit until we're ahead of this fucker. We get like a three for three. Oh, I'm watching out. Don't you worry. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not getting away from me. Shit. Oh my god, did I press too late? Alright, we gotta pay attention to that. We gotta press more buttons. Fuck! Jeez, are falling on me. I'm not getting out of the way fast enough. Shit. Dude, I lost. Super hard. I'm not pressing it fast enough. I'm having a hard time. My arm hurts. I'm sorry. I guess I don't have to press it that fast. I'm pressing it like full speed pressing it. And, I, and when I do that, I have a hard time pressing uh, shit. Pressing other buttons. Oh! Shooky! Come on. Catch that fucker! Hit me! Yeah. I will get you! Yeah. This sequence is actually pretty hard. My arm yeah. is already tired. Did I get, oh, oh, fuck, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. Fuck. Oh shit, it doesn't stop me though. It doesn't stop me. Yeah. Can't stop me now. I'm having such a horse time. I'm gonna fuck you up, you stupid penis walking bitch. I'm gonna fuck you up. We'll get away! I won't allow it! Oh god, my thumb. My thumbs and fingers are dying. My whole arm is dead. It hasn't gotten away from me. Approaching the border. Ooh. See you around. Killing my arm. When I press the button fast, I use my entire arm. Don't you. If you can picture that. Gotta love the pixelated ass cutscenes. They're all comic book style still because they couldn't do regular cutscenes. Hang in there. Hang in there, bro. No. No. That's bad. I grow. Climb that hill or mountain, whatever. Snake, do it. Is the horsey gonna be okay? Anyways, now what? What happens now? I don't know. But we were victorious, I guess. A nation reborn. Chapter 3 complete, I guess. Alright. Rank B. 
I kind of effed up a lot on the dodging during that sequence. We got the battle dress, though, you guys. You guys. Whoever keeps telling me to wear it, I can finally wear it. Kaz, Peace Walker's gone. They've got Paz, too. Yeah, but... Why, Kaz? What would Coldman want with Paz? Paz was with the Professor, i.e. the KGB. Once Coldman discovered that, he figured out what was really going on between Paz and Galvez. He's trying to figure out how the KGB planned to stop Peace Walker. And he thinks he can get the info from Paz. That's crazy. Paz won't know anything. Probably doesn't buy that. You think Galvez has already been killed? By grabbing Paz, Coldman's saying... Stay out of this, or lose your client. Damn it! I can't believe we didn't realize what was going on before we lost contact with Paz. Don't have time for that, Kaz. Snake! Paz needs our help. Right. This isn't about money anymore. You better move. We know where they're headed. Yeah. You can thank Amanda. Snake! That river you chased the Basilisco across is the Rio San Juan. The other side is our country. I had some Nicaraguan compas track it there. They're focus from the GPP faction, so we don't work together so much. Where'd it go? West, along the border, towards Lago Cosibolca. There's a U.S. military supply base on the southeastern shore of the lake. Ever since that earthquake two years ago, America's had the entire region to itself. That is where the Basilisco is. I'm sure of it. Lago Cosibolca. How do I get across the border? There's a route that we use to cross. It's just a little boat, but I can introduce you to the captain. Hmm. I appreciate it. We will never leave Nicaragua at the mercy of someone like William Walker again. Snake, Coldman's going to launch the nuke from that base. He's targeting MSF. Based on what Huey's told us, it'll take two more days to prep for launch. But it looks like there's another reason they picked that date. What's that? Tomorrow is day one of a U.S.-Soviet summit in Vladivostok. The launch is probably connected somehow. That's right. They're holding the SALT-2 talks. You think Coleman's trying to disrupt the negotiations? Hmm. Either that, or use it as a bargaining chip. He's still got POS, too. At any rate, we're running out of time. I'll figure something out. Don't worry, bro. I got this. You think I'm a little Metal Gear game? Let me actually launch the nuke and kill people? Are you crazy? Especially not the big boss's base. You crazy. That ain't, that ain't even happening, bro. That ain't even happening. Anyways, awesome. We defeated Peace Walker Part 1. You know there's going to be a Part 2. I knew we wouldn't actually defeat it. There's no way. Anyway, we got some stuff developed. This is good. Actually, we only really got one thing developed. But we got a bunch of staff it, staff increases, which is nice. And we got a new plant. Oh, cool. More new plants. Aren't we special? All right. Anyways, we got some a couple new staff peoples. And people seem to be out of the brig, which is good. Let's throw them in there. R&D, we got a bunch of gimp ready to be used for something. Um... I feel like the MG3, somebody was telling me the MG3 is really good. Let's go ahead and start developing the next level of that. Um, anything in items that I really want to work on? Not really specifically. We'll get everything done eventually. It's just a matter of time, really. And I know it said I got some Outer Ops guys back, but I'll pick them up later. I'm not in a hurry. Let's see what kind of stuff popped up now that we have finished that mission. Lots of new stuff or just like one new mission? Let's see. Because we may have time for a side mission if it's short. Base defense. Stop the enemy's advance on the AI weapon while Snake fights Peace Walker, allowing only in a single enemy to breach your defense. Oh. Is there a time limit on it? Um. I don't know. How long will this one take? You know what? Let's try it. I don't mind. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. I can't help but think that this is going to be like a tower defense one. And we can't use Snake, I noticed that as well. Um, anything helpful on this one? Base defense? What you got, bro? Alternatively, you could try planting claymores along the routes they walk. We need you to stop that nuke boss. We'll keep you safe, no matter what it takes. Wow, that was like the most simplistic thing. He's just like, yeah, you need to do that. Fundamentals of stealth. Pause. Can't talk to her right now. Amanda's got some new stuff. Chico doesn't. Huey's got a couple new things. And Cecil couple new things as well. Alright, we'll have to do some briefing files in the next episode. Let's go ahead and do this right now. I kind of just want to. Also, we can't use Snake, I believe, right? 
Or wait, can we? No, MF soldiers only. All right. I wanted to double check. Uh, Metal Lark. Actually, Metal Lark might be our best bet. He has a shit ton of stats. Sneaking suit. Uh, we're playing defense, so I'm thinking battle suit. Holy crap, battle suit. You look awesome. Let's Come test it out. All right. And then, let's see. We're going to do tower defense. We're going to need lots of ammo. Lots of ammo. Um, yeah. We'll do that. Lots of that. We'll bring in uh, something else, like, more accurate, like M16. I can't believe I have one assault rifle. That's insane to me. So we'll bring the Fulton system. Maybe we could take some soldiers with us. We'll bring the shield. I don't know why. Just out of the fuck of it, I guess. And then make sure we bring some, some healing stuff. Curry. And tortilla chips. And, um, oh, let's bring grenades, of course. Granadas. Where are you at? Um, whoa, wait. With the battle suit, you can hold three weapons? <gasps> That's awesome. Let's bring a sniper rifle, then. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just noticed you could bring three weapons. We're going to move hella slow. But I bet you our armor is super good. Anyway, I'm going to bring grenades. Bring some nades and then some supplies. And, uh, actually, we should be bringing the supply grenades. Not the supply marker. All right, that's good. That's good. We're going to be super fucking slow. Let's just see how this one goes, though. If we're just playing defense, we may not have to move a lot. We just have to fuck a lot of guys up at fast and and uh, swift and uh, efficiently. Okay, we're in here. Okay. Oh, okay. We're not even defending like that thing. We're just fucking up fools. All right. I like it. Any more fools? Any more fools? Oh, are foolish enough to fool with me? I'll just take the ones that are like near death. Because I can. Uh huh. Taking out six so far. It's a good start. Any more fuckers just chilling around? I'm like looking around for more fuckers. Just fudge them all up. Yeah, life machine guns for the win, bitch. Reload. And fuck them up again. Alright, that one's down. Any more bitches? Any more bitches need stitches? Go ahead and reload it up one more time. Get out of, my Get out of here, dead people. More bitches that need stitches. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to M16 just for some variational fun. Dude, just die, all of you. I'll take the one in the helmet, though. The rest of these guys, I just want them to die. I know you're alive, but I'd rather not waste ammo on y'all. More guys are coming. I'm. Yeah, I think I had to wait till the other ones die for them to come out. Yeah, that's right, M16. Bleed out now. Reload. You're doing all right there. Doing just fine, bro. Oh, yeah. Shit, reload. Hm. Oh shit, we didn't. Ah, fuck. No. I lost, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Wait, I didn't lose yet. Yeah. Thought I lost. Sorry, I was like, I thought I lost already, so I was waiting for it to end, and then it didn't end. So I was like, oh, well, we can still get that guy. Never mind. Fucker. You will not get past me. Not again. I keep forgetting this shit has a lot lower or smaller of a mag, so I gotta be more careful with my ammo. It's not like the light machine gun where I can fucking unload in their face. Gotta be more paying attention to my ammo. I'm gonna get these guys that have armor. I feel like they're higher level, probably better stats. Headshot. 16 more to go. Where y'all at, bitches? Where y'all at? Keep it up. Damn right. Yeah. Booyah. Screw this guy. Get out of here, soldier. We'll take him. Why not? Yeah. Dead? Dead? Oh wow, they were right on top of each other. I should be more. I should be more aiming sooner, man. 
If I take my time, look at that shit. We're just popping fools one hit or quitter. Here I am, wasting all my ammo. We popping fools in the face, one shots. One hit or quitter, these fools. This is the only guy you can't really one hit or quitter. You should knock his helmet off. Bitch. How dare you. I think I killed him. Got him. How many more? Two more? Are they gonna bring out the big guns for the last two? Probably not. It's just gonna be two more normal noobs. Two more normal noobs. Fuck you, and we'll take this last guy. All right, victory. I win. Ha <laughs> ha. I win one to nothing. You cannot stop me, for I am the champion of the world. Yeah. All right. I 100% agree this battle suit is pretty sweet. Holding three guns is amazing. First of all. Second of all, uh, holding three guns is amazing. And third of all, holding three guns is amazing. I didn't even use the third gun because I'm not I'm just not used to having that many options. Also, I brought a sniper for no reason because I didn't know what kind of layout that was going to be. Now that I know, I would definitely just go a bunch of machine guns or even just a shotgun would have been fun. C rank? Psh, I could have fucked that up so much better. I I I could probably rock that one super hard if I now that I know what I'm doing. Any hoozle. That was fun. Hope there's some more like that. I can't imagine there not being any more like that. Just one defense mission. Yeah, right. Anyways, I believe that's going to wrap up this episode. Let's head back to the base and see what kind of shit got developed and whatnot. And then we'll end the episode. Tra la la, what do we got? We got some decoy ranks. We got the RPG unlocked. So then we can develop a better fucking RPG. You know I'm going straight for that. And more people got hurt. Oh man, I probably sent a bunch of dudes. Oh no, a lot of these guys are from the ones that I just fought against. And I just. And then I folded them. But they're injured because I almost killed them all right anyway that's gonna wrap up this episode of let's play metal gear solid peace walker and the next one i think we're gonna continue on with the story let's see what the next mission is we're gonna get on a boat right we had or at least so that's what amanda said we're gonna go meet up with this boat dude infiltrate the u.s missile base okay well i guess that's what we're doing so in the next one we'll do this see you guys then peace